WPSU is your source for Penn State sports, Penn State research, Penn State community. But we can't do it without your support. Become a member today and get a DVD of your favorite Penn State show. Knowledge is power. They come from schools all over Pennsylvania. They learn. Who wrote the importance of being artist? The of they practice. What is Japan's highest mountain? What is the capital of Iowa? The 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 they compete. To succeed, they need brain power and quick reflexes. This is Scholastic Scrimmage. Production funding provided in part by. Juniata College, committed to keeping a great education within reach for Pennsylvania students and their families. With rigorous academics, flexible programs, and a welcoming community, Juniata College is committed to students graduating within four years. Learn more at juniata.edu. Join us as we welcome Montoursville Area High School from Lycoming County and Penn Cambria High School from Crescent. And now, here's the host of Scholastic Scrimmage, David Price. Hello, and thank you for joining us here for the fourth game of our tournament. Remember that the winner of each game does move on now in the run for this year's championship. Our championship game will air on May 17th. We do have an added feature here. Each game during the tournament, there will be a question for each team from a panel of experts. Those questions you will see at the end of the first round. Right now, our teams are all set to battle it out in our contest today. So before we begin, let's meet our team from Montoursville. Gary Bush, I'm a senior. Aaron Bankus, I'm a senior. Tim Becker, I'm a senior. Grant Myers, I'm a senior. <laughs> and the team's coach is Mitch Hart. And now let's meet the competitors from Penn Cambria. Garrett Storm, I'm a senior. James Trexler, I'm a senior. Steve Barr, I'm a junior. Eric Wirtz, I'm a junior. The alternate for Penn Cambria is Josh Dowdy, a sophomore, and the team's coach is Mark Perhenick. Our judge for today's competition is Jessica Peters. She's from WPSU's Educational Services Division. If you would like to know more about our game, you'll find a complete set of rules on the World Wide Web at WPSU.org. Team captains, let's start it off. Come on up, exchange a handshake if you would, please. Good luck to you both. Let's go with round one. The opening category is arts and literature. Montoursville, you get the opening set of questions. Who gives the Queen Mab speech and later calls for a plague on both your houses after Tybalt stabs him due to interference of his friend Romeo? Aaron. Mercutio. Mercutio is correct. Your follow-up, Montoursville. Esther Greenwood works for a New York magazine and undergoes electroshock treatment for depression in what novel by Sylvia Plath? Aaron. Beehive. No, it is the bell jar. Arts and literature for Penn Cambria. I will need a name and a number here, please. What Shakespearean title character begins by speaking of the winter of our discontent and ends by offering his kingdom for a horse before he is slain at Bosworth Field? James. King Lear. Notice Richard III. Social studies for Montoursville. The system whereby any one of the three governmental branches of the United States is kept from usurping power is known as what? Grant. Checks and balances. Checks and balances, correct. Your follow-up, Montoursville. What is the name of the group of nine islands in the North Atlantic that forms a province of Portugal? Azores. Azores. Aaron. Azores. The Azores is correct. Toss-up. Ah, toss-up. Toss-ups happen later. This is actually for Penn Cambria and is in the category of history. The treaties of Nanking and Tientsin ended what pair of 19th century wars in which Britain forced China to allow the import of a namesake narcotic? James. Boxer Rebellion. No, it is the Opium Wars. History for Montoursville. What object was deciphered by Jean-Francois Champollion two decades after it was discovered in 1799 in a town in Egypt? 
Rosetta Tim. Stone. The Rosetta Stone is correct. Your follow-up, Montoursville. What man succeeded Simon Cameron as Secretary of War in 1862, six years before Andrew Johnson violated the Tenure of Office Act by removing him? He was Edwin Stanton. Math and Science for Penn Cambrian. What term is given to the biannual event when the sun is directly above the equator? Eric. Equinox. It is the equinox. Your follow-up, Penn Cambria. What name is given to the region of a circle bounded by a central angle and its intercepted arc? James. Sector. That is the sector. And now it is time for our first expert question. This one, Montoursville, is for you, so do pay attention to the monitor and our first expert, Dr. John Rowe. What Greek letter represents the fraction that results from dividing a circle's circumference by its diameter? Grant? Pi. That is pi, your follow-up, Montoursville. What is the apparent color of the supergiant stars known as Betelgeuse and Antares? Aaron. Red. Red it is. You can hear him in the background. Take a shot with red. That's why you always take a shot. Oh, and that takes us to our uh, second expert question. This one is for Penn Cambria. Your turn to pay attention to the monitor and Dr. David Monk. What author of the prior analytics opened a school of philosophy called the Lyceum that competed with Plato's Academy? Steve. Aristotle. Aristotle is correct. Your follow-up, Penn Cambria. Two answers are required here. What two bodies of water border the Caucasus region on the west and east coast? James. Dead Sea and Mediterranean. Now it's the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. And that is going to be the question that concludes our first round. Current score, Montoursville 60, Penn Cambria 30. So we turn to the team with the lower score at this moment. Penn Cambria, that is you. And that means you get the first fast track of the day. 60 seconds, 10 questions. Are you ready, Penn Cambria? Mm -hmm. They are. Let's go. Fast track. What longest African river has a white and blue tributary? James. Nile. Correct. What author described the bombing of Dresden in Slaughterhouse 5? Eric. Kurt Vonnegut. Correct. Ethanol is what type of organic molecule that always has an OH group? Steve. Alcohol. Correct. What Midwest city is the site of Midway and O'Hare airports? Eric. Chicago. Correct. Washington crossed the Delaware to fight what Christmas time battle? Steve. Trend. Correct. What term is given to the study of map making? Garrett. Cartography. Correct. Pitch is equivalent to what property of a sound wave? James. Wavelength. Frequency. Who created Holden Caulfield in The Catcher in the Rye? Garrett. J.D. Salinger. Correct. What word meaning great house identifies the rulers of ancient Egypt? Garrett. Pharaoh. Correct. What beverages varieties include Dar Darjeeling and Earl Grey? James. Tea. Tea is correct. And that is the end of our first fast track. So we turn to our student scholars from Penn Cambria. The whole team returns, right? Mm -hmm, yeah, there's yeah. a new fellow on this side. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Immediately to my left is Garrett Storm, who is a senior uh, from, from Penn Cambria. And uh, actually, you're the one who's out of uniform. You know, all the guys are in yeah. blue here, and they're all in yellow, and uh, you're in brown. But that's all right. Yeah. You started a reading list. What kind of reading list? Uh, just sort of classic works, things that I want to read, things that are referenced in other literature. Uh, so far, I've knocked off um, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland through the Looking Glass just for fun, uh, Dracula, A Clockwork Orange, Harrison Bergeron, and I'm moving on to more dystopian ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the obsession with dystopia and yeah. Tina, that's great. Uh, how long of a list is it? it it's growing yeah. pretty much consistently. We've got many years to work on it. It's yeah. good to see you, Garrett. Good luck to you today. James Trexler is a uh, senior. The captain from Penn Cambria, mm -hmm. and you know where you're going to college, is that right? Yeah, um, I'm going here to Penn State, and I got accepted to the Schreier Honors College. And actually, 
I've been planning on going to Penn State since I was about maybe three years old or something. Excellent. Excellent. We like to get you while you're young. I you know, sell you blue and white stuff, paw prints, all that stuff. We loved it. It's good to see you, James. And, uh, yeah, Star Wars characters have made it back into their pockets today. Uh, Steve Bart is a junior from Penn Cambria, and the uh, scrimmage team here is traveling to Harrisburg. What for? There's a Scholastic Quiz Tournament. It's hosted by IUA, and we're going to the State House in Harrisburg on April 25th, I think. Okay. And for the state championship. So Excellent. Cool. Well, good luck to you there, and good luck to you here today. Good to see you. And Eric Wirtz is a junior from Penn Cambria, and there's there's really no short way to tell this story about open wheel racing and the uh, division of it and the reunification of it, but it's back together, suffice to say. And uh, you have some feelings on the reunification. Yeah. Uh, well, first of all, last year I went to the Grand Prix of Cleveland, and since the unification this year, they're eliminating a lot of the road courses, which are a lot better in my opinion because they have right turns in them. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. You can't top that, Eric. We're just going to stop. <laughs> Go fast, turn left. Hey, turn right. What a great idea. It's good to see, Eric. Good luck to you. Uh, we're in rounds two and three now. Change up the rules a little bit. There's a toss-up question that both teams can answer. Uh, get it together, David. Okay. And uh, so if they answer the toss-up correction cor correctly, their team will get a follow-up question. I will remind both teams that if you buzz in early, that is while I am reading the toss-up question and you give an incorrect answer, your team will be deducted five points and you don't get the follow-up. And that's what we do in rounds two and three. First toss-up in the second round is in the category of arts and literature. The detective Porfiri suspects that Aliona and Lizaveta, a pawnbroker and her sister, were killed by Raskolnikov in what novel by Fyodor Dostoevsky? Okay, James. Crime and Punishment. Crime and Punishment is correct. Penn Cambry with the follow-up. What title character of a Russian novel throws herself under a train after the ending of her adulterous relationship with Count Vronsky? James. Anna Karenina. Anna Karenina is correct. Math and science, toss-up question. What planet home to the longest crevice in the solar system? James. Mars. Was visited by Mariner 9, Viking 1, and the rover Spirit and Opportunity. Mars is correct. Penn Cambry with the follow-up. What phrase abbreviated G-U-T do physicists use for an as-yet undiscovered theory explaining all non-gravitational effects as aspects of the same force. James. Grand unification theory. Grand unification theory is correct. Geography, toss up question. Chimney Rock National Historic Site, the Oglala National Grassland, and the city of Omaha are all located in what Great Plains grant? Nebraska. State, that is correct. Nebraska, your follow up, Montoursville. The Danube River divides Romania from what Black Sea neighbor country to the south? Aaron. Bosnia. Now it's Bulgaria. History. Toss up question. What act, revoked 87 years later by the Edict of Fontainebleau, was issued in 1598? and gave some political and religious rights to French Huguenots. James. Edict of Lords. Nope. Montoursville. It was, however, an edict, but it was the Edict of Nantes. Mm -hmm. Toss-up in Pennsylvania. What 1985 Academy Award winning film featured a murder plot but also focused on the differences between the Amish and modern or English ways of life? Aaron. For better or for worse? Nope. Pen Cambria? Garrett. Kingpin? No, it was Witness. <laughs> James is whacking his head. He knew that. <laughs> Couldn't pull it out. Happens sometimes. Math and science, toss-up question. We direct your attention to the monitor. The carbon microphone, kinetoscope, electric vote tabulator, and commercial light bulb were all invented by Eric. Thomas Edison. What wizard of Menlo Park, which you were just looking at, Thomas. Alva Edison is correct. Your follow-up, Penn Cambria. On a PV diagram, the isotherms of an ideal gas assume the shape of what conic section? 
James. Parabola? No, it is a hyperbola. <laughs> Social studies, toss-up question. In what religion is repentance urged during the month of Elul by the blowing of a shofar? A ram's horn, also heard on Rosh Hashanah, and Yom Kippur. Grant. Judaism. Judaism is correct. Your follow-up, Montoursville. Zeno of Citium and Cleanthes founded what school of ancient Greek philosophy that was named for the portico where Zeno taught? Aaron. The Academy. No, there is taught from a Stoa. They were the Stoics. History. Toss-up question. Lady Jane Grey and Edward VI were members of what English royal house that was founded by Henry VII and included Queen Elizabeth I? James. Tudors. It is the House of Tudor. Your follow-up, Penn Cambria. What American financier orchestrated the mergers that created General Electric and U.S. Steel and donated much of his extensive art collection to the Metropolitan Museum of Art? This is their follow-up. <laughs> always got to jump in because if they answer and it's correct, they get the points. Uh, uh, where was I? Oh, the collection of the Metropolitan Museum of Art before dying in Rome in 1913. James. J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan is correct. Arts and literature toss-up question. We've got music, please. What composers... Garrett. Beethoven. Late period from 1816 to 1826 saw the creation of Misa Solemnis, the last of his six-string quartets, and the Choral Ninth Symphony, from which you just heard an excerpt. Beethoven is correct. Your follow-up in camera. <laughs> What architect is known for his avant-garde designs for the Pritzker Pavilion in Chicago's Millennium Park and Spain's Guggenheim Museum? James. Frank Lloyd Wright. No, it's Frank Gehry. <laughs> that is going to be the question that concludes our second round. And uh, since the opening fast track went to Penn Cambria, this one goes to you, Montoursville. The rules are the same. 60 seconds. 10 questions. Are you ready, Montoursville? Sure. Let's go. Fast track. What title character of a Tchaikovsky ballet kills the Mouse King? Garrett Grant, you got it. Nutcracker. Correct. The cosecant of x equals 1 over what trigonometric function of x? Grant. Sign. Correct. What Polish-born author wrote Nostromo and Heart of Darkness? Pass. <laughs> Grant. Uh, Joseph Conrad. <laughs> what author of the uh, Nicomachean Ethics was a student of Plato? Tim. Aristotle. Correct. What country's 1959 revolution was led by Fidel Castro? T Aaron. Cuba. Correct. The largest felines are what endangered species now found only in Asia? Gary. Tiger. Correct. What Greek playwright wrote The Persians and Seven Against Thebes? Grant. Uh, Sophocles. Aeschylus. In 1789, what man was named the Supreme Court's first Chief Justice? Gary. John Marshall. John Jay. What nation's first Prime Minister was David Ben-Gurion? Israel. Austin's the capital of what U.S. state? Texas. Gary. That is correct. <laughs> Pushing the limit on that one we were. <laughs> Got him in though. Changes up the score and we take a little pause here and meet our student scholars from uh, Montoursville. And uh, to my right is a senior from Montoursville, is Gary Bush, who has uh, just started the uh, track and field season for the spring. What do, you, what do you do in track and field? I run the 400 and the 800. You're a long distance guy. Actually, it's mid-distance. Mid well, <laughs> for a sprinter, that's long distance. I'm a little short guy with big stocky, stocky legs. We didn't run very far. <laughs> well, good luck to you in your pursuit to states. Um, and Aaron Bankus is a senior, the captain of the Montours team. And last time we were here, we were talking about potentials at the Naval Academy. And you've received news, which is? Yeah, I got my letter of uh, appointment my offer of appointment, so I'll be going there July 2nd for induction. Excellent. Well, congratulations, and uh, good luck to you in the future there. Tim Becker is a senior from Montoursville, and, <laughs> and this is a quote, I've been accused of looking like Bill Nye the science guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you like use this to your advantage or anything? Or well, um, some girls approached me last year and wanted to make an extra credit video for physics, and they wanted me to play Bill Nye. And then since then, it's been featured in the school newspaper, and I guess it's also going to be in the yearbook this year. So. There you go. <laughs> That's good. It's working for you. It's good to see it, Tim. Yeah. Good luck to you. <clears throat> and we talked earlier of the the new guy on the block, uh, Grant Myers, who was the third stringer uh, a while. You have you have ascended to the center. Yeah, last game was a little rough. I had to watch it from the sideline. 
lines, but you know, I worked hard in practice, and by practice I mean the van ride up here. So <laughs> in the game. And, and I noticed you didn't have an alternate today, so you know, you, yeah, yeah. So all right, it's good luck. Uh, good to see you, Grant. Uh, welcome to the front and center and all that good stuff. Let's go to the final round. First toss-up in the final round is in the category of Pennsylvania. Nicknamed the White Rose City, what town is the county seat of York County? James. York. It is York. Your follow-up, Penn Cambria. What son of a Genesee woman and a white trader rose to become a primary war chief of the Senecas, but eventually helped negotiate the Treaty of Fort Stanwix and later asked the Quakers to teach his children to read and write? James. Chief Joseph. No, it was Chief Corn Planter. <laughs> Geography, toss up question. What river formed by the confluence of the Allegheny and the Monongahela? James. The Ohio. Rivers flows by Louisville, Cairo, and Cincinnati. The Ohio River is correct. Your follow up, Penn Cambria. Arches National Park, the Glen Canyon Dam, and Hoover Dam lie along what western U.S. river? James. Colorado. Colorado is correct. Arts and literature, toss up question. William Wilson, the black cat, and the mask of red death are all short stories written by what author of James? Edgar Allan Poe. The Raven, Edgar Allan Poe is correct. Your follow up, Penn Cambria. During what one of his periods did Picasso focus on creating portrayals of blind, impoverished, or despairing people? James. Blue. It was the blue period. <laughs> Math and science toss up question. Pencil and paper may help. What is the probability of neither A nor B if they are independent events with probabilities of 40% and 50%? James. 10%. No. Montoursville? Aaron? 20%. That's 30%. 3 over 10. Between the two. Yeah. <laughs> Arts and literature toss-up question. We direct your attention back to the monitor. What successor to Joshua Reynolds as head of the Royal Society and historical painter for King George III painted the death of General Wolfe seen here? James. Bob Ross. No. <laughs> Montoursville. Benjamin West is his name. Toss up in Pennsylvania. In 1840, John Riebling began testing his newly developed wire rope on what transportation system that was used to cross the Allegheny Mountains between Altoona and Johnstown. Grant. Cable car. No. Penn Cambria. Eric. The Allegheny Portage Railroad. Allegheny Portage Railroad is correct. Your follow up, Penn Cambria which is right next to the Allegheny Portage Railroad. Oh. <laughs> in 1749, ex an expedition led by Captain Pierre Joseph de Celeron de Blanville began burying lead plates along the headwaters of the Ohio River system in northern Pennsylvania to claim the area for what country? James. France. It is France. <laughs> Social studies, toss up. Question. What man's sayings known as a hadith Ahadith, there it is, Ahadith, were compiled after his hijra to Medina and written down after his transcription of the Quran. James. Muhammad. Muhammad is correct. Your follow-up, Penn Cambria. Samuel Alito replaced what only retired member of the United States Supreme Court who is still living. James. Sandra Day O'Connor. It is Sandra Day O'Connor. History, toss-up question. What man who received his best known name from his childhood habit of wearing a soldier's boot went on to rule Rome from AD 37 until his murder in AD 41? Grant. Julius Caesar. No. Penn Cambria. James. Claudius. No, it was Caligula. Ah. Current events, toss-up question. We direct your attention back to the monitor. What doctor, pictured here, 
Tim. Howard Dean. Once sought to stop construction of a lake or near, uh, near Lake Champlain, is now head of the Democratic National Committee. That is Howard Dean. Your follow-up on Toursville. What South Asian secession, secessionist terrorist group active on the Jaffna Peninsula has a women's division called the Freedom Birds? <laughs> Aaron. Al-Qaeda. No, it is the Tamil Tigers. <laughs> Pennsylvania, Tulsa question. What, was, what is the name of former President James Buchanan's estate in Lancaster? Grant. The James Buchanan estate? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Penn Cambrian. It's called Wheatland. Oh. And that's called the question that's going to end our, uh, our game right here. And I'm going to say congratulations to Penn Cambria. We will see you back here on uh, Saturday, April 26th, in the next round as one of our great eight. And Montoursville, those of you who are graduating, moving on to the Naval Academy, it's been a blast having you here. We appreciate your time. And if you're not graduating, we want to appreciate your time next year and see you back here as well. Uh, and thank you for tuning in. Please be sure to stay with us next Saturday at 6 o'clock as Bishop McCourt takes on Southern Fulton. That'll be followed at 6.30 by Dubois against Marion Center as the round of 16 continues right here on Scholastic Scrimmage. Production funding for Scholastic Scrimmage is provided in part by Juniata College, committed to keeping a great education within reach for Pennsylvania students and their families. With rigorous academics, flexible programs, and a welcoming community, Juniata College is committed to students graduating within four years. Learn more at juniata.edu. We'd like to thank Justin's for providing special yearbooks for all the teams participating this year and rings for the championship team of Scholastic Scrimmage. For over a century, Justin's has been helping people celebrate, reward, and remember the greatest moments of their lives. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.